Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. Today I want to demonstrate how you can set up a cPanel email account on your iPhone. Of course, as smartphones such as iPhones keep becoming more and more popular, um, people want to make sure that everything is synced together so they get the same emails on their computer as they get on their laptop as they get on their phone. So I'm going to walk you through this simple process so you know exactly how to do it without any frustration and you can get on with your day because, of course, these type issues can be very frustrating, especially if you're just getting started. So the first thing we want to do is we need to access cPanel. So we're going to click log in on NameHero.com. You're going to enter your username, which is your email address, and you're going to enter your password to the control panel. Okay, and you're going to see from here, you click on Cloud Web Hosting, and then you want to select your package. If you have more than one package, then make sure you select the one you want to work with. If not, just select your package. Now you want to go into cPanel. Now we do have some quick shortcuts down here, but if you have a reseller account, yours might look a little bit different. So you want to go into the cPanel of the domain that you're going to install on. So for my example, we're going to do an email account on HalloweenCostumeBlog.com. So we're going to want to make sure we go to that cPanel. So we'll click there and log in. Once you get there, we're looking for email. So we can just type in email and you're going to go to email accounts. Okay, so this is where we can see there's no account set up. So we're going to go ahead and add an account. So we'll just call this demo, demo at HalloweenCostumeBlog.com. And now we have to enter a password. Now this password is important because you're going to have to enter it on an iPhone, obviously. And it's got to be strong or the system will not accept it. So right now I recommend um, writing down a, a strong password um, and write it on a piece of paper so you can... Um, so when you go to set it up, you can make sure that you enter it correctly. And I'm just going to call my demo account dollar sign one two three. So let's um, go ahead and type it in, and we'll see if it will accept it. Okay, so it's telling me it's very strong. Okay, and now we're going to give it a quota. If you're in a big organization and you're going to set up a lot of accounts, you definitely want to set this because you don't want one user that doesn't um, delete their emails frequently or doesn't delete their spam box to fill up your web space. So you can do 250. You can go a little bit higher than that because that's a little low. Um, but of course, this comes off of the space you've purchased from us. So especially if you choose unlimited, this might be a little bit dangerous because they could begin using up a, a lot of your space. So even though 250 is low, so you can go 500 megabytes, but just remember if you know they're going to use that up from your disk space. So that's very important to keep in mind. Okay, so now the account is created and we're ready to set it up. Okay, so now let's um, I'm going to switch the screen over to my iPhone so we can kind of go from there. Okay, on your iPhone right now, you can see I've pulled up um, NameHero.com. So we're going to want to log in to cPanel from here because it's going to it's going to give us our configuration file. So you want to make sure, by the way, that you're in Safari browser. This will not work in Chrome, and I haven't tested it in other browsers. It only works in Safari because it's a, it's a profile you have to set up, and so it's made for um, Mac OS, and so therefore Safari, or Chrome will give you an error. Safari will not. So on NameHero.com, and you can see we are mobile optimized, unlike a lot of web hosts out there, um, click Login, and you're going to log into the NameHero control panel. I'm going to use my demo account once again. Um, I've got um, Handoff on, so my password's already on my clipboard. Let me just enter your password and log in. Okay, and from here you can click on Cloud Web Hosting. And we're going back to cPanel, so we're going to click on our package. And then you can see login to cPanel comes up. And now we are inside of cPanel. And you can notice, you know, we make sure that everything's mobile formatted um, because it's very important nowadays that things are mobile formatted because um, lots of you are using your phone to do day-to-day -day business. I know me personally, I do. So here we can type in email or we can scroll down and find it. Um, I just like to type it in. So back here, we can go to email accounts. Okay, and now here's the same screen we used to add it. And of course, we could have added the account here, but I just wanted to show you from a computer standpoint, then going back over to the phone. So you, again, you can add your accounts here if you'd like. But now you can scroll down and you'll see the demo account that we created. All you have to do is click on set up mail client. And then from here, you're going to have a bunch of configuration files. And if you're depending on um, your device, 
for an iPhone, of course, is going to be right here. So we will select IMAP over SSL, and then there's regular IMAP. I always recommend doing SSL. So we're going to click on that. Now SSL, of course, is encrypted. Um, for security, you always want to select that um, if possible. So what it's going to give you um, a bunch of um, information here about this file. We're just going to go ahead and click Proceed because we know it's safe. It's coming from cPanel. And now it's going to give us the profile. So as you can see, everything is signed and verified. It's not a virus. It's nothing malicious. Um, and we're going to click Install. Now it's going to ask you for your iPhone password because, of course, it wants to make sure that everything's secure. So we're going to enter our password. Click Install. Okay, now you have to enter your email password. And remember, this is what I mentioned, that you want to make sure you write down when you set it up um, because you have to type it in. And remember, mine was going to be demo um, account and then dollar sign, one, two, three. Okay. Okay, now you can see the profile has been installed and now we can check it by going to our home screen on our iPhone and we can click mail and you can see the demo at HalloweenCostumeBlog.com is there and I can click on it and you can notice I sent a test email um, both ways just so I can make sure that sending and receiving is working and it is. Um, and we're all set. So now the email is on your phone and you can receive emails, send emails and check it on your computer. And as long as you're using IMAP on your computer, it will show up there as well. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know, but it's pretty simple and straightforward, especially when using that file. So, um, just let us know if you have any other issues. Thank you.